Oh, great. All right, good evening. Uh, today, the goal for the, the goal for today is going to be we're going to get a lot done. You kind of see what's more to the store, especially after the smash in the incident. I had stuff, but you know what I mean. You quest the real world. We did receive a letter from L from Natty. We might see her. We guardian the Miosa. I really soon we give a small mention to you in, but a strongly cast looks fun. Uh, looks like we're almost done with this chapter. That's uh, letting nothing really else to do, so I'm gonna go to my room requirement. I'm gonna collect all the stuff I need there, and then we'll get started. We are going to head to a strong request, just because I'm wondering if our professor there. Hey, what is this? Oh. Sebastian and Amris, where are you in? Actually, hang on, let's go and let's be back. Is it all blue? No. I could have been all of them. I know I missed some. Get the challenge complete. He. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I Let's won't see. give up. Revelia. Special. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts. So he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Mm, yeah. Ominous is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's not that I'm not interested, and you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Mm -hmm. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Oh, Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As blame. punishment, his family cast it on him. What? The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Gosh, it's terrible. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. Because, that is yeah. until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Mm. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. God, I'll make terrible what understand. happened. He'll change his mind. Mm. You can't imagine. I don't know if I've walked to the worst a guy has been to that. Uh... Goodness. Is a strong request held at night? It's perfect. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. <laughs> Perhaps you're due for an adventure. That'd be fun. Ladies, um. Professor Shah. 
Astronomy is not divination. Uh -oh. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. You look cute. The heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. What? Well, all right. Well, the bat. It is cool. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. <laughs> no. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of That's her. what the moon things are for. I can't do that, Ahmed. You might need it. No, really. You can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? Mm. I mean, of course you have. No, it's I, only yeah. the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I. Thank you, Amit. Think nothing yes. of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Revelia. Wow, look at this. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. <laughs> All of good that did. How the constellations are beautiful. Not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they <laughs> are beautiful. I see. Armit thinks he knows everything. He even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. And then again, the dudes who look all right, guys. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highland. Well, you see that's them? what Professor Shah was talking about. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Just stole the bread down the street and love that. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. <sighs> All of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? Dog, isn't it? Mm, all these instruments are cool. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Confringo! Imagine twisting an orb like this and the whole sky starts spinning around. It'd be amazing. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Yes. 
Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. Oh wow, that's very unprofessional of you. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Thing in peace. <laughs> the perfect night for. Oh, hello again. Is this your telescope? I have no. the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? Yeah. It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems that maybe we were right oh, here man. at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Okay. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one yeah, from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. <laughs> Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Okay. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? No. I'm really a little confused. I'm not quite sure what the astrology has to do with the wizarding world. Uh, these two seem very hell-bent on saying that it's irreplaceable work. What now? Better friend down there? The hippogriff? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Oh, so now you have my attention. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Maybe it's not that the... creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. <laughs> you, Here I am, you, you like that word. Ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? Oh, I if see. Or sure. <laughs> see where are we going? Rebellion. Do I have to find the astrology? I, uh, hmm. A little foreboding. A few Maybe. cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Was it it's just jail not as cell? tidy as I expected. Needs to bath them. This bath them has been kept behind lock and key for as long as they would remember. Remember half of the double enchant the chase after students decades ago were too obsessed with their studies to care for personal hygiene. <laughs> That's perfect. I wish so. we should release this thing. So we'll just... I see it now. All right. Confringo. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? I will not. Oh no, not this close to Look, the school. Look, there's a table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. I'm excited. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Yes. Do I have to... Oh, here we go. Now we're in business. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Mm 
lima lagi twisted twisted very <laughs> Lyra I was right about the tables they really are gateways to the far stars just as the book said and your contribution was invaluable rest assured you shall be credited in my memoirs one day that's impressive thank you Emmett I look forward to reading them and I look forward to writing them <laughs> <laughs> this is only the beginning you will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer and if I have ever seen one it's you oh and about my old telescope don't bother returning it you should keep it that's quite generous thank you you are thank welcome you. it has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook you know mm. it's all in the throat really gobbledygook you know and and how you pronounce your R's yeah, um, <laughs> anyway the ride on adventure was a success I will see you soon uh, and why would I believe you Alright, Shrine Request is done. Let's see if, uh, what's her face is a little extra curricular activity for us. I don't know much. Find the astronomy tables. Oh, never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Mm -hmm.